Hello and a very warm welcome. Ten things I hate about Manchester City. Um, yeah, our noisy neighbours. Let's get into it. Number one, just really the way the club is run. Um, we all know Manchester City. They have the fans from the start, but then they've got a lot of new fans with all the money from Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Manzur. And the way the whole club is run, I mean, literally pound note city. I mean, they literally just checkbook, uh, get the checkbook out, win the league. Um, everything Manchester City stand for is wrong. Um, yeah, they're like PSG. They're literally a rich Wigan athletic and they're dominating English football. All thanks to Sheikh Manzur and the pound notes. Number two goes into it, it's money, it's pound notes, it's 50 million a centre-back, Walker, Mendy, it's just Stones, and now Grealish, uh, Sane, Mares. It's just like, honestly, it's like playing FIFA career mode. The money never stops. Financial fair play doesn't exist to this football club. And number two is money, as we all know. Number three... And the worst moment this club ever brought to me, Sergio Aguero. Now, Sergio Aguero is Man City's best ever player, but he brought me the worst moment, the Aguero moment. And that is why he is number three on this list. QPR crumbled and Man City won their first Premier League. My worst moment as a football fan. Uh, yeah, number three, Sergio Aguero and that goal. Number four, the new fans that only support Man City because they're successful. Fair play if you supported City when they were bang average, when they were a mid-table club, before the, all the cash. But you've got so many new fans. It, it sickens me to see kids like with uh, De Bruyne on the back of the shirt, etc. Like it's, it's just wrong at the highest level. Literally supporting them because they're dominating. Yeah. Number five, the famous Etihad, or as we like to call it, the empty hat. Top of the league, dominating English football, and they still can't get a full capacity crowd. And they want to extend the stadium, even though they can't fill their normal stadium. So number five is the crowd, the Etihad, or famously, as it's known, the empty hat. So yeah, that's five on the list as we jump into number six. And this really annoys me. Manchester is blue. Are you shitting on me? How on earth can you call Manchester blue? Okay, you're a better side than us currently. But to say Manchester is blue is sickening at a highest level. You've not even won the Champions League, yet you contemplate that Manchester's blue. Piss off. Never in a million years, Manchester is blue. That's a bloody insult to Manchester. Number seven, Mika Richards, Balotelli, Aguero goal, and the Carlos Tevez banner. What the fuck is all that about? Carlos Tevez was my favourite player at United, and then he went to the blue side, and then they posted that banner up. Sickening. Shouldn't be allowed. So yeah, I go with Balotelli. The famous one where he pulled up the shirt. Richards, cringy, Tevez banner. I hate it. Number eight, their famous chant, Blue Moon. Uh, yeah, just an awful tune, isn't it? Especially when City beat you and that plays. Just awful, awful song. Blue Moon. You saw me standing alone with the pal notes. Irrelevant, irrelevant Manchester City. Let's jump into number nine. And the big factor is no history and just a non like cash budget. Like not just cash. Cash budget, no history, no Champions League. They've won a couple of Premier Leagues, FA Cups, but it's just cash. Never ending. They can have as much money as they want. And this is why they don't have the history of a United, a Liverpool. Number ten. Squad depth, 
De Bruyne, Mares, Sterling, Sane, uh, Grealish, like all these players they've signed, they've gone, Sterling, De Bruyne, Gundogan, it's the squad depth is a joke. And they have the best squad in the league. They've got literally their defence must be worth half a million. So there we have it. Ten things I despise about Manchester City. City will never have the same culture of a Liverpool and Man United. They'll never have the history. Okay, they're dominating now. They're a better football club now. But they'll never have the history of a United, a Liverpool. Um, yeah, and that's my view. Ten reasons why I hate Manchester City. A rich Wigan Athletic. They were irrelevant in the 2000s. And now they're only relevant because of uh, money, 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 money. <laughs>